the so-called Balkan route is a very interesting uh, topic, interesting <laughs> under quotation marks, also very heavy and very uh, difficult and tragic. Um, and yeah, the first thing that was happening is what I found most interesting is that uh, when there was the Balkan route in the summer 2015, when people started taking this route, then all of a sudden we had a refugee crisis, which is of course fake because you know people have been dying in the Mediterranean for years. So it's just been kind of, it became more proximate to certain European countries, so it became more of an issue. So it's, you know, this, this kind of all issue of the Balkan route um, uh, tells us something about uh, where which European countries locate a potential threat. I find it really interesting in how the, the Balkan route um, kind of showed us how you know different politicians but also people in the everyday life started discussing about where is Europe actually located because some countries such as Serbia we are in now uh, and the politicians in Serbia used this whole uh, debate about the Balkan routes to say we are actually more European than you know Western Europe because we are opening our borders we are letting people pass and the others some other countries are closing the borders so you know who is who is humanitarian who is uh, in favor of human rights who is in favor of mobility and who is not uh, and of course all the processes that have been happening in the Balkans like different conflict conflicts between the Balkan states in terms of whose borders are open, who's not, and who should take the responsibility because the, the Balkans are divided between EU states and non-EU states, states who are still in the process of uh, joining the EU. In different ways, uh, maybe the notion of crisis in itself uh, became uh, a topic that social scientists critically deconstructed and uh, in terms of um, you know, uh, crisis being used also by politicians uh, to uh, reach certain goals and uh, you know, when, when do we have a crisis and when don't we have a crisis, what is a permanent crisis and um, whom does a crisis talk help for reaching political goals. So it's a critical uh, assessment of this whole discourse or crisis talk but it's simply kind of how did the refugee crisis influence the way scholars uh, were thinking about migration, thinking about European transformations. Uh, so I think it was an opportunity to, you know, expand the criticism mm -hmm. on this interface of migration and uh, the changing of the political landscape in, in Europe. And uh, many other topics uh, that were already there, but uh, the refugee crisis kind of um, motivated scholars to focus even more on those topics. For example, a topic I can think of is the whole issue of deportation. Uh, there is uh, a lot of work on the global regime of, like national and global regimes of deportation. Um, then uh, the whole distinction between voluntary and forced migration is a very constructed and sensitive one. And it of course ties in with the whole issue of uh, the moral and the deservingness issue of, you know, is someone who is a work migrant trying to reach a better life, is this voluntary? You know, or is it just forced if you are fleeing a conflict, an ar armed conflict? Um, so this was re-problematized this kind of differentiation. The whole set of topics on integration, whatever that means, or assimilation, of course, uh, and, uh, you know, the other, like different forms of othering, um, like what comes after the so-called refugee crisis, uh, how does the arrival of, of a large uh, number of people change the societies they uh, eventually reach. And also the topic of the refugee camp, of encampment. Mm -hmm. uh, the topic of, uh, yeah, this is maybe a very interesting um, and crucial topic, is this kind of um, focus on mobility that was very present in scholarship. Um, and it was a bit kind of limited because, uh, you know, mobility is always tied into immobility, <laughs> stasis, being stuck or stuck in this. So, not seeing these you know stages as totally disconnected and alternative but 
having a more inclusive view of talking about immobility, like both mobility and immobility and how this plays out in particular people's lives.